It's also a bit of a pain in the ass uh, initially to get around uh, Grand Pulse. But once you start activating these teleports, the fast travel opportunities they unlock. So, like, the mission's obviously just extremely important. We'll have to see how that goes, too. Um, a quick tidbit, a technical one. If anyone uh, wants to do a similar type of challenge or just wants to play Final Fantasy XIII again, they've been inspired. Uh, they have it on Steam. Especially nowadays, I think most machines can run this in, like, 4K pretty easily. It doesn't take, like, a really beefy machine to do that. Um, it's a game of very limited options anyway. You just kind of set it to 4K. I think there's shadow resolution, which isn't super important. Um, and then there's like anti-something anti filtering. I always forget that word. Um, and that's it. But what I had was an issue where when I set it to 4K and I just started playing, um, everything was fine. Like my CPU and my GPU weren't that taxed uh, relative to it being a 4K game. But for some reason, even though my frame weight looked high, there was this weird like frame skipping situation where it looked like, let's say, every like once every second, one or two frames were just being skipped and just kept skipping and skipping and skipping constantly. And it was really annoying. Uh, I did some research. I found something online called uh, Final Fantasy 13 Fix. Um, I, I found it through Nexus mods. And basically, I think there's some kind of weird issue where... Um, the game doesn't like let your graphics card use more than four gigabytes of its VRAM or something like that. And this fix basically bypasses that. And so it allows your graphics card to kind of perform as it normally should with that stuff. And since I applied that patch, the game runs very smoothly and it runs very nicely. And so far, at least, I haven't had any crashes. And so um, if anyone is having a similar issue or you're having issues in general um, graphically, uh, that fix seems to work pretty well. So. Uh, maybe type in like Final Fantasy 13 Steam 4 gigabyte fix into Google or something like that. Um, if I can remember, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, that will help you and it will run uh, more smoothly. So I think that's important for anyone wanting to play uh, on Steam, especially nowadays. The Steam Deck also handles this game really well. I did a little test on my, on my Steam Deck and it plays beautifully. So I definitely recommend Steam Deck users to give it a go as well. Okay, here we go. The nice... Yeah. The, the nice blue skies and open expanses of the central expanse are now gone as we head into the depths. Let's just go straight for it. Mr. Optimist. Now, already a different proposition here. Um... Instinct says that this time we we have to play this game. I think if we try to go aggressive, even if we get a preemptive, I think the ones that aren't staggered are probably going to do too much damage and they'll probably kill us while we're trying to attack the others. So let's just see what happens. If I can get a preemptive, I still will anyway here, I think. Um, I'll try to do some blitzes while we get some protects on and then I'll go attacking. But... It's hard to do with some of these. Just don't take the bait. I think certain ones are set up in a way where, because this is the first encounter of this area, they kind of want you to. They want you to have to take this head on, and with no shortcuts. <laughs> so yeah, well we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Let's see if Blitz can somehow like, interrupt them a bit. It can, which is helpful. At least it gives us a little time. Yeah, so the interruption ability of Blitz is, is pretty underrated. Definitely helps. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Oh man, I'm meant to go to... I'm going to get fucked now. Yeah, they've got pretty good chain resistance, too. It's going to take a long time. Yeah, they definitely hit a little bit harder than what we were facing on the Expanse. But Hope's keeping up nicely here. And they're pretty slow, so they're giving you plenty of time to heal before their next barrage. But they get system upgrades. Shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's going to make things more difficult. 
I need to take at least one of them out relatively soon before they all get upgraded, and then I think I think they'll probably overpower us if that happens. Thanks. Okay. This next set of attacks should be telling. Unless Lightning, she's, she seems pretty quick against them. Like she might keep them mostly at bay, honestly. Yeah, this is working pretty well. Like Blitz is really just slowing them down here. Nice. So far, so good. But we'll keep playing it safe. I don't really need the, the battle rating. Like I say, honestly, low ratings might even be a little bit better for me. Like, zero ratings would actually help. I might get lucky and get some shrouds. I think we're going to be okay here. But I'm still not going to switch to, like, aggression or something. Too dangerous for that. But Mystic Tower already proving useful here. As I say, I'm not like I'm not like some big time challenge player expert at Final Fantasy 13. So if you see me doing anything that's like inefficient or just like you could have done it this way and it would have been so much easier, you're probably right. But as is with most challenges, most games I play, I can't just make it up as I go. And sometimes I come up with good stuff, sometimes not so good stuff. But for me, that's always been part of the fun. Like, I remember when I did the low-level, like, um, Chapter 11, all 64 missions thing back in, like, 2010. Um, it felt like it was one of the most fun things I'd done since, basically, like, my Final Fantasy X days. And I had a great time with it. And I, in my mind, I figured out some really great stuff. And, like, there were some really tough battles that took me a long time. I was just really happy with the time I spent on that challenge. And then, I think maybe, like, a year or two later, or, like something like that. I started to see like no Crystarium stuff happening and I just felt so shit for a time. I was like, come on man, like shit. I thought what I did was like really tough and really cool. And then these guys are just out there doing like no Crystarium challenges. But it was short lived because then immediately I was kind of like, nah, like I had, a, I had a great time regardless. Like, yeah, okay, these guys did something more difficult, but that doesn't take away from the fun that I had when I was, uh, when I was playing, so. It was fine in the end, and so that's my general attitude with this stuff. Um, as long as you're having fun with, with what you're doing, and it feels like a good level of challenge for you, um, the rest doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Yeah, so these are like these are weirdly potentially good for me because of the shrouds, but there you go. You see, I got an Aegis Soul. Nice. So, yeah. I think as, not, as long as you're not kind of uploading content claiming to do the most difficult challenge ever and trying to really say that you're, you're the best at a particular game or like no one can do what I'm doing and then it turns out that what you're doing is not that impressive. Um, I think it's all good. Ah, see this weapon can be weirdly useful man depending on what you're facing. If they have like a nice high stagger gauge if it's like 500%, 700% you can just keep them there. I think it could work very well with some stuff. I think for now, I'm happy to keep this, but this could definitely be handy. We'll see. Okay, so far so good, but I, again, I will be trying to avoid encounters where I can here. Maybe I can dart through. Yep. So just even being able to just do that kind of stuff, I think is really fun. Just kind of weaving through the enemies to avoid encounters. Now... Okay, we've got story on one side and optional on the other. Let's have a look. Ah, I hate these things. Let's see if I can avoid. They're very quick. Tough to avoid. Shit. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah. Let's see what they do. They're, they're self they're basically the bombs of this game, kind of, and they self-destruct. I'm not entirely sure what we can do. They heal for like some stupid amount to start anyway. An amount that I can't compete with at all. Yeah, there's no chance here. 
Our only hope is to basically survive uh, survive the self-destruct. Nothing else we can do. Right, okay, I see. Yeah, this is a problem. We're going to die. But do we still win the battle or do we get a game over here? What happens? Mm, I think we lose, right? Yeah, yeah that's annoying. See, this is an example of one where I just I simply don't have the stats. I can't bring down the self-destruct damage enough to survive it. So we have to try and see if we can avoid them. They're just very zippy. Yeah, they're very hard to avoid. I think you can probably get lucky with... Um, with the self-destruct. I think if Lightning ends up far away from, um, yeah, then she just walks towards him again. It's just very tough, like, you have no manual control over what happens with that stuff. Okay. He's gonna die. But yeah, as soon as that happens, they're immediately, like... Huh? What happened there? It felt, it felt like it didn't do the damage, but okay. I'll take that. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need. Hmm. Something fishy about this place. Agreed. I thought maybe we can get to a chest or something, but... Not the case. Ah, uh, we have to beat a boss here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not happening. There is a chest there, but this is not happening. It's going to do two, like, fiery swipes and kill me instantly. I think it might be a one-hit KO here. Let's see. 950 damage. So it's, like, almost a guaranteed 2,000 damage to start the fight. So, no. We are most certainly not ready for that smoke or that flame. We shall come back later <laughs> for that one. If at all, honestly. I don't really know what the ceiling is for, like, to being able to power up my accessories and stuff. Like, can I realistically get, like, a plus 2,000 HP kind of um, accessory? I don't really know. That type of stuff I haven't really had to do for a very long time. Might get lucky here. Yes. Okay. Glad I avoided that. Again, might get lucky. We'll see. We survived against three of them, so maybe we can survive against... I want to get Lightning out of there. Yeah. So she does that backflip kind of out of there. And then... Well, nah, she just walked right behind him again. There you go. Stay away. Ah, Barfrost. Does that take away, like... Does that keep him alive? Mm, I think it helped. Honestly, I think it helped. But is that just hope? I think it's just hope. Please just hope. No! It's both of us. But you saw even with Barfrost, it did 1,800. So, yeah. It's a good effort, I have to say. Then again, maybe he, if he does protect and that snow survives. But still, <laughs> we'll avoid if we can. I do. It must be something very good in that chest. If it's a, uh, <laughs> here we go. Not gonna be lonely. <sighs> yeah. So, it's not quite the the ambling bellows, but basically this guy. Anyone who's watched the LP will remember drove me absolutely nuts. I'm not sure if it was this battle specifically, or if it was an ambling bellows, or the mission, or whatever it was. But this type, like this stupid accordion-looking thing, whatever it is, caused me a lot of problems. And is this avoidable or not? I think that's our first port call. Let's see if it's avoidable. Um, way, yes, okay. So it's avoidable. I think we might run into one or two that's not avoidable, but for now, I'm glad that <laughs> we managed to avoid that one. 
So I'll leave the showdown with Accordion Boy for later. Um, it's caused me enough misery in the past. Right. Let's see. I am wondering what the next, like, legit boss battle is going to be here that we can't avoid. Speaking of avoiding, it's going to be tough to avoid four of these guys at once, but we'll see what we can do. Just about. Those guys too. This is such a long chapter and there's a lot of unavoidable stuff in it. So, I don't mind too much. Now, I know that there's treasure here. What's this? Okay. I guess I could look into equipment upgrading already, but again, I want to make sure I commit to the right one. I don't want to invest in something and then need to get a whole like massive amount of um, gil after I get another one, so... Again, that will be something for when I get stuck. And well, honestly, I pr I'd rather put my upgrade materials into, like, Mithril Bangle type stuff first. So, these plans. I think, again, this is a bit of an unavoidable one, unless you use, like, Deceptisol and use some tricks and that kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. But let's take them on. I think we should be able to take these guys. Whoa. Okay, maybe not. I think especially if they pick on Hope at the start. He needs to heal himself very quickly here. And he did, so that's good. Oof. Really, even with Protect, it did that much. Come on, Snow, you need to start to do your job here. They're also kind of desynced, which means Blitz isn't working very well. I'm not able to hit both of them at once. Yeah, I think it's going to be... it's going to be a bit tough. And yeah, they have decent resistance, and it's only 150%. So it's not good. Oh, come on, man. Snow needs to be protecting us here. I'm going to try to push a little bit to stagger the first one. Come on, Hope. Get the next set in. Go. Yeah, it's not, it's not as much as I was hoping for, but fine. I'm going to briefly do this just to really work the gauge. But it's a risk. It was a risk. But then at least with this, I can kind of get myself out of the way. Right, it's still not going to be enough. Fine, let's head back to this. Yeah, I think I'll whittle the rest away like this. So we're still doing okay. Win this. One more set should be enough. And then I think we'll throw caution to the wind a little bit against this guy. Get one more heal in. Alright, let's go. Come on, squad. One more set. Hope's going to take a hit, but I think we'll be okay. Just have to hope. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. I thought he might, like, get some kind of cheeky hit in beforehand, but that's good. 
With these guys, they have a nice delay once they drop as well, so it's not the end of the world if they do. They get, like, squished. I love that. It's a nice little detail. Okay, looking good. That's how it's done. And five star. Give me zero star. For all the bounce. I prefer that. A yep, lot of cutscenes in this game. Um, yeah, I think there might be a treasure chest or two here, so I should have a look around. Nah, actually, okay. I think I remember this is after you activate uh, Atmos. Atomos? Atmos? You can kind of end up here and then go across to the other side and stuff. But there is still a chest. Nice. Okay, hopefully we will activate Spiky Boy a bit later. Got a long way to go before that. Okay. Yeah, so we have another one of these situations. Let's see if we can pull the same move as last time. I think with these guys, once you go up to them on one side, they kind of rotate, which might give you a window. I think that was the that was the trick against them. Come on. Not this time. I think it's worth another go, honestly. This battle's this battle's hard. Potentially too hard. Cause I think I have to beat um the box phalanx first. There you go. Yes, that was the one. Yeah, so you create enough distance between the minions and this guy, and then if you're patient enough and you wait just on the edge, he turns. Okay. That's good. That's an encounter I did not want to deal with. We just don't have that many accessory slots, and I think for a, just fundamentally having more HP helps with a lot of stuff. Like, if you have, say, an HP plus 300, like the Mithril Bangle that we have, to have something that reduces the damage by more than, like, 300, say, for a hit, they'd have to be doing so much damage to you that it's not really that relevant, I think. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think I know what this is. Yeah, what this is, is not good, because I think this is... This is literally, I think, where we have to fight Hecatonchair, isn't it? And we only have Fang and Vanille, and that's it. So we have to keep them alive, and Vanille has 655 HP, which is not very good. I don't think that's going to work. Let's see. We might already be at the point where we have to turn back. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It is. Yeah, th I think this is a no chance. This is an absolute no chance here. Looming wrath. I mean, yes, we're going to give Vanille the, the Mithril Bangle on the next attempt, obviously. Um... But I'm gonna prepare in advance. Okay, looming wrath again, sure. So I think debuffs are one of the best ways to do a damage here. Three, four, six. Uh yeah. Wait, she got like a reprieve? Oh. 
right. I mean, the Gestalt gauge is very low here. Because Fang doesn't have a Ravager, it really doesn't help here. Wait, oh my god. 476. Yeah, okay. I don't think that's going to happen. That is not going to happen. I'm obviously going to try it anyway. I'll give the Mithril Bangle. Honestly, I might upgrade the Mithril Bangle a bit. Um, it's almost for certain that, I, that that's the thing I'll have to upgrade. So let's get... Vanille only has one slot for accessories, so that's all we can do. And for her, again, we, we don't have a second one, so... I mean, both of us, not even over a thousand HP, I think it's going to be a bit of a tough sell, but let's see. Why don't we relax here for a while? I feel recharged already. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be relaxing much here. We're going to have to go straight back and start doing some missions. Um, honestly, double saboteur is probably the best. Um... I think it's just going to be mostly just switching between these, honestly. I don't see what else I can do. Let's see. I think it just does too much damage. I don't know if these guys scale to some extent. Like, they're supposed they will be difficult no matter what level. That's one thing I didn't consider. Maybe it's a scaling enemy. I didn't have a massive problem with them in any of my runs in the past, so I didn't really notice it as much. But yeah, I think it's... yeah. You see, this also sucks because it's immune to slow, and as a result, even though it helps to build the gauge, uh, Fang will stop using... Fang will stop using slow, so she won't contribute anything. So we have to just do this. Bring it on. So let's just try and see if I can survive like this. And Fang draws the fire, basically. Oof, my god. And it takes too much time to heal as well. By the time I heal, it's already going to be on this next set of moves. I only have one accessory slot, so I can't do, like, Doctor's Code and leave myself on 655 HP. So, yeah... Yeah, and I mean, we have Doom. That's obviously the big, the big issue here. Yeah, we're we're not even close, and we're down to a thousand. And Quake, yeah. If it decides to use Quake, I think I'm already dead. Oof. Yeah. I don't know about this one. I don't think there's too much more I can do. I think the next thing I will try is to upgrade the Mithril Bangle a little bit with what I have. But honestly, what I have is not that much. Let's see what we do have. It's been a long time since I messed around with this stuff. Um, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I might get, honestly, like an extra 50 HP, 100 HP. I don't think it's, it's going to be anything particularly good. Times two bonus. I think maybe with what we have here, we can get to a times three, possibly. Okay. But a times three? Come on, there you go. And then just basically do that. 370, yeah. Mm. 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell the incentive chip. I forgot I had one of those. I feel recharged already. Whoops. Let's go to creature comforts. Um... And then I think like Vibrant Ooze, I, I thought they were all basically the same, but I, I think Vibrant Ooze was maybe the best one. And I think it was literally 36 to get to um, like the right multiplier. So that's 45, 21. Yeah, I'm not going to do it like one by one, I can't bother but yeah, as predicted, basically a plus 100 is the is the best I can manage. I doubt it would make the difference, honestly. But it's something I'm going to use anyway, so I think that's fine. Yeah, she pushes over 1,000 HP now. Uh, if she had a second accessory slot, honestly, I would have just used Doctor's Code and just spammed potions, but... I feel like it's 655. Basically, I would save a ton of time with healing, I think. But I'll give it one or two more goes. I, I think this isn't one I'm going to press really hard. Because, uh, well, I think doing the missions is going to be fun anyway, at least some of them. <laughs> 